Hello and a very warm welcome to Changzhou for semi-finals day at the Li Ning China Masters. Event number seven on the 12 tournament OSIM BWF World Super Series. As I say, 12 tournaments a year make up the Super Series. As you can see, we've already had six of them. And this, the first of the second half of the series. Five of the events this year promoted to premier status and the only two premier events to come, the Danish Open and the China Open. And of course we've got the Super Series Finals in December, also in China, last event of 2011. Well I'm Jill Clark and as I say we semi-finals day and we've got a wonderful lineup for you today. We're going to be starting with women's doubles and the number three seeds Mizuki Fuji and Oreka Kakiwa up against the 2009 World Junior Champions from China, Sha Juan and Tang Jinghua, who really have caused a sensation so far. Then we've got women's singles and the defending champion Wang Sing up against the All England champion, her teammate Wang Shoshian in a repeat of the Asian Games final. Then mixed doubles, as you can see, and it's the All England champion Zhu Chen and Ma Jin from China up against the 2009 World Championship bronze medalist Jochen Fischer Nielsen and Christina Peterson from Denmark. After that, men's doubles and the defending champions and now four times world champions Kai Yun and Fu Haifeng of China up against Ko and Yu from Korea in a repeat of the World Championship final from last month. And then the last of our five matches this afternoon is Chen Long, the beaten finalist last year at the China Masters, up against the European champion, the number two seed Peter Geyer of Denmark. So a terrific lineup for this afternoon's semi finals. Well, the China Open first started back in 2005 and my goodness hasn't China do, done well in this particular tournament of the 30 titles that have been decided over those previous six tournaments here at the China Masters only five times over those six years has a title not been won by China men's singles it was Sonny Dui Kunchoro who won the men's singles back in 2008 women's singles that year was won by Zhou Mi of Hong Kong. Men's doubles again in 2008, the Olympic champions Kido and Seti won. And Danish success in men's doubles in the past here as well with Eriksson and Lundgaard having taken the men's doubles in 2006. Women's doubles, the Indonesians have been victorious here before. That was in 2007 with Liliana Natsia and Vita Marissa. But the one discipline where China have been always dominant is mixed doubles. They have won on every occasion here since this particular tournament. China Masters was first staged in 2005. Of course, China's dominance reinforced when for the second consecutive World Championships running in web pages last month, China won five titles. So the players emerge onto courts for the first of our semi-finals. Mizuki Fuji and Reika Kakiwa, the number three seeds, making their first appearance at this particular tournament. Up against the youngsters, the unseeded combination of Sha Juan and Tang Jinhua. Well, the Japanese pair in the red shirts. Senior three, ranked three in the world. When they reached the final of the All England Championships earlier this year, they were unseeded in Birmingham. They lost out in the final to Wang Xiao Li and Yu Yang, who are incidentally still contesting this tournament. They're the number one seeds and they're up against teammates Tian Ching and Zhao Yu Lei in the other half of the draw in the women's doubles. It's a half of the draw, repeat of the World Championship final. So we're looking at Mizuki 
strategy. Turn 23. Early on last month, 5th of August. Reika Kakiwa. 22 years of age. There's Fuji. Fast mate and friend of the darling of Japanese table tennis. I Ara. Reika Kakiwa. This her teammate, Sakoto Sutsuna, as her idol in sport. So these two pairs, well, as far as the Japanese pair were concerned, they had a bye in the first round by virtue of the fact that they were seeded. And then two straight games in their, their next two rounds, including yesterday in the quarterfinal against the number five seeds Chen Wen Sing and Chen Yu Chin. Only being on court for an hour and 19 minutes. Whereas you compare that uh, to uh, this young pair from China, Xia Xuan, 19 years of age. She and her partner, who's also 19, Tang Jinhua, played three matches because they weren't given a bye in the first round. And all three matches have gone the full distance, including a first round encounter against the Indian combination, the Commonwealth Games gold medalists and recent bronze medalists at the World Championships, Dwala Gutta and Ashwini Bonapa, saved a match point in that opening round before coming through 23-21 in the decider. Then in the second round, the young Chinese pair disposed of the number two seeds, the other bronze medalists from the recent World Championships, Maeda and Suitsuna of Japan. That was an hour and 29 minutes and yesterday in the quarterfinal the youngsters the former world junior champions disposed of their teammates number eight seeds Ching Shu and Pan Pan in 58 minutes so they've been on court three hours 23 minutes that's two hours four minutes longer than their Japanese opponents now I can't help but wonder if that might just be an influence on today's match because Despite the enthusiasm of youth, these two 19-year-olds, three hours, 23 minutes on court for three matches is a long Ladies time. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Mizuki Fuji and Leika Kakiwa, Japan. And on my left, Xia Huan, Tang Jinhua, China. Mizuki Fuji to serve to Xia Huan, Lobo. Play. Umpire Shun Hee Ju of Korea gets the players ready and orders them to play. So three seeds nearest to us, Fuji and Kakiwa. One love. Oh, so this fault called. Struck above the waist, says the service one judge. One rallies in this women's doubles. Oh my goodness, great defense. Wow. 
Well, if we have rallies like this throughout the contest, highly probable that yet another match for this Chinese pair will go beyond the hour mark. Yesterday, I have to say, in their quarter-final, I caught glimpses of it when they were playing against Cheng Shu and Pan Pan. Just wore down their opponents. Over. And he lost the opening game. The next oh, two oh. were very convincing indeed. 21-5, 21-12. It's amazing when you think that in the past 12 months they've only played one senior tournament outside of China. Ah. And that was a an event in India in December, which they duly won. Three, two. So their world ranking at 85, they've only got three tournaments towards that because the Indian event, plus the China Masters last year, and the China Open as well. Just long of the back line. <laughs> this Japanese pair, three finals already this year. I've mentioned the All England Championships, but they also reached the final in the India Super Series event and won the German Grand Prix Gold event just prior to the All England Championships and were obviously in great form in March. April as well. That's when the Four, Indian Super three. Series event happened. Uh, three career titles to this Japanese pair, but never a Super Series title. So good placement. Five. There was real hesitation Four. at the back of the court there from Fuji, which really played her partner into trouble. But it was a good smash from Shashwan. early stages.
six minutes of play. Six all, first game. Attack down the center of the court. And finally, Tang Shiba able to get involved from the front and finish off the rally, but she finished off the rally so convincingly. Very good play indeed. Oh, indecision. Costa dear. There's a little hand signal. Letting her partner know where she's going to serve to. the opportunities when they present themselves commitment coming forward to finish off that rally from Tan Jinwa two point cushion for the world junior champions Kakiwa. Thank you. 
My beliefs that doubles has to be gone out and attacked. You've got to go out to win it. Not sit back waiting for defensive play to get you through, hoping your opponents can make errors, wear them down. And doubles is all about the attacking play, and therefore it surprises me. But then the Japanese pairs are very successful, there's no doubt about it. And I think in general terms, the Japanese pairs are defensive in their style. It'll be interesting to see if they try and change that around at all. Because the defending, their defense has been broken down at the moment by these two youngsters. Creative, flat over the net, aimed towards the mid-court area. Super shot. Mm. Pity from their perspective, because that was a nice run they had going four straight points. varied they are in their attacking play some aim towards the shoulder right shoulder some towards the hip some really acute angles always mixing it up always uh, thinking about where the weakness in defense is play one player hits down the center of the court the other moves forward and to play the winning shot this is very very impressive and they're both only still 19 Well, these youngsters have just won seven of the last eight points. The unexpected kind of weakness in defence. Eight of nine points now. Against 
Six in the nine. world, number three ranked pair. serve into the net. the pressure at exactly the right moment. Yeah. Second time of asking. 21-10. The margin of victory. to be a little more talk by interpreting the gestures a little better. Oh, more positive things to do as far as the Japanese players are concerned. Quicker movement, there seemed to be some indication about driving the shuttle back or putting down in the first place. So, Xia Huan and Tang Jinghua of China having taken that opening game in very, very convincing style, 21 10. Now, we need to push home with that advantage against the number three seeds from Japan. And I suspect that the Japanese players might come out a little bit more aggressively at the start of this second. Oof, that 
looked a little high to me, that serve. The flick, but not called. at the moment, isn't there, on the face of Fuji. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Lovely play from Tang Jinhua. waiting for the opportunity to use the channel attack in between the two Japanese players. There's the power play, narrows the angle of reply and therefore the net player can get involved. And as so often, it's been Tang Jinghua who has finished it off from the front of the court. sign of fatigue. Oh. Remember, of course, they've been on court for two hours, four minutes longer than their Japanese opponents. And they've had to play three matches, the Japanese pair only two, because by virtue of the fact that they were the number three seeds, they had a bye in the first round. Only 24 pairs in the women's doubles. That to me is a little disappointing. Oh. Oh. As this is a super series event and players chasing their Olympic qualifying points in the front there, Sho Suzaki, who was defeated yesterday, yesterday evening by Lindan. by the Japanese pair, not forcing the Chinese back deep in their defence. And it was a pity that Fuji hit the final shot into the net because I just felt if they could get encouragement from their attacking play, they might try and persevere with that a little bit more. Yeah, but I do like the way these Chinese youngsters hit and move forward. 
work very well as pair. Japanese pair, when they do attack, they don't work to set up the next player quite as well as their opponents. That time they managed it. What a difference in the outcome. that back line. Oh, brilliant. What defensive play. Tang Jinhua. Well, we've seen this on a couple of occasions. The drive across court, flat over the net, into the mid-court area. And it's an outright winner. And it's a real lesson in how to be positive when you are defending. Disappointed with herself, ran out of patience in the end. Well, it's time for the Japanese number three seeds to get back on level terms if they want to win through this semi final. Psychologically, I don't think they can allow their opponents to get too far ahead. Ah! Yeah, the whole rally was set up with the channel attack, a smash down the centre of the court. Immediately got Kakiwa involved at the front.
very positive defensive play, driving the shuttle back so quickly. It's perhaps a lesson that the Japanese players could learn from. Too often, in my opinion, I think they're too content just to lift on the defensive play rather than trying to do something positive with it. at the mid-game interval and we've already taken the opening game 21 10 and I have to say Sha Hua and Tang Chi Hua they are very impressive indeed Yeah, there's real intensity, isn't there, from the Japanese coaches urging their players on. Judgment. Service over. Absolutely A. imperative for the number three seeds from Japan to make a positive start to the second half of this second game. Chinese wanted the shuttle changed. Mizuki Fuji said no. I like this one. And the umpire agrees with the Japanese player. Very much become a feature of badminton nowadays. I have to say, a, a feature I don't particularly like. Arguments over to whether to change the shuttle or not. Oh yes, it really is much more positive. points since the mid-game interval. A variation on the attacking play there. There, The disguise drop shot. And a great effect. <laughs> Christina Peterson being and a little later on third match on. It's doubles. 11 4. No. Only four points since the game interval in favour of the number three seeds from Japan. And they're back level. up about that.
a super rally once again. Discipline and toughness of these two youngsters from China. That's what's really impressing me. Been like this throughout the entire week. Oh, good result after another. First of all, the bronze medalists from the recent World Championships, Juana Gutta and Ashwini Bonapa of India in the first round, saved a match point at 20-21 down in the deciding game before winning 23-21 and then in the second round against the number two seeds the other bronze medalists from the recent world championships Maeda and Suetsuna hour and 29 minutes 21-19 in the decider and then yesterday just quite frankly wore down Cheng Shu and Pan Pan their teammates from China Sensing the danger. Just easing themselves back in front again. Giving themselves a three point cushion. Ah! Oh, that was definitely not no question that time. Positive on defence, drive the shuttle back, find the open space. It all looks so easy. to put the shuffle away, don't she? Well, I like to see that. Seeds because their opponents just three points away from a place in the final.
a tired looking shot from Shah Huan. Now just three points the deficit. Ask for the shuttle to be changed, and the Japanese say no. And as far as the youngsters are concerned, they've just got to put the closeness of reaching their first ever Super Series tournament final. They've got to put that out of their minds. They've just got to focus on where they're going to place the shuttle this next rally. Shot by shot. Lovely shot. And that's gone long. And now there's just one point in it. Yeah, the more urgency and intensity. Worried expression on the faces of the Chinese coaches. short of the mark my goodness me what a time for a service error and that was definitely nerves Opportunity with around the head shot from Reika Kakiwa into the net, and look at the disappointment because it means now that the youngsters from China have two match points. Play. 
And the 19 year olds from China have disposed of the world number three ranked pair. Goodness, mate, the only match that they've had in this tournament so far that hasn't gone the full distance, hasn't gone to three games, and the delight of the coaches because that guarantees the women's doubles a title to China because in the top half of the ball, the semi-final is contested between two Chinese pairs. So it will be an all-Chinese women's doubles final. Their confirmation of the score, 21-10, 21-18.